Good morning, it is June 3rd, it's almost 10 a.m. and I'm currently waiting in line on the Ticketmaster waiting room to try to get tickets to see Panic at the Disco. They are going on tour this year and they are one of my favorite bands of all time. Mostly because of Brendan Urie, I freaking love him. And they're gonna be performing at the Chase Center in San Francisco in October, so I'm trying to get tickets. This is the pre-sale though, so I signed up for the pre-sale code a few days ago. So now I'm waiting, just five minutes left and hoping I get good seats. <laughs> I've been a fan since I think, basically since their first album, which came out in like 20, no, I mean 2005, I think. And I was in like fifth grade, sixth grade. So it's been a long time since I've listened to them and I've always wanted to see them live and this is my chance. So far this year, I've been traveling a lot, especially for concerts. Like in April, I went to Vegas to see BTS. <laughs> In July, I'm going to Seattle to see Odessa, and then in October, also around the same time as this concert, I'm going to Vegas again for another music festival. But finally, this one is actually in San Francisco, so I won't need to travel anywhere. So that's another reason why I really want to get tickets. Okay, there's less than a minute left. Uh, mm, it's 10 a.m., but it says there's still a minute left. Hello? Okay, there. Now it switches over to the queue. Oh, there's only one person ahead of me? Well, that was quick. <laughs> oh my god, okay, well, fabulous. Okay, is this the best one? Hmm, oh god. Um, okay, no, oh my god, no, I wanna change it. I wanna change my seat. Why did I choose these? Sit tight, we're securing your tickets, but it's taking so long. Dang, the fees are always so insane, I hate it. I have the nervous poops right now, even though that was like super easy. I like, didn't even have to wait in queue for very long. Oh yay, my transaction went through. Yay, I got the tickets. All right, I'm gonna go see Panic at the Disco in October. Hello, so I'm getting ready now to go out. I'm just gonna be running errands. I have to go to Daiso in Japantown. I have to go to Nijia as well. And then if I have time, I wanna stop by Target and Trader Joe's to pick up like weekly groceries and stuff like that. So right now, I'm trying to get ready. I really don't need to get ready, but I feel like it, you know? Plus, I've been using this new curling iron that I just got, which is amazing if you have long hair. Oh my god, is that a white hair? <gasps> no, I have a white hair. Oh my goodness. I don't know if you can see, but there is most certainly a white hair. Wait, it's just like a short white hair. Should I just pull it? I knew this would happen. I feel like white hair early in life runs in my family and it is, it is starting. I just found another white hair. So I have two, they're really short though. Yeah, these aren't like full length. They're just like this long. I'm having a really hard time grabbing it, but it's literally just this long. It ends right here. Here's one of them, if you guys can see. And then I have another one slightly further up right here. And then I saw another one forming. It's not fully white yet, but I can see it turning. It's kind of brownish, so it's turning white. Oh my god. I think this is genetic though, like people in my family have started getting white hairs pretty early on, so I shouldn't be surprised. Uh, wow, yeah, I really didn't expect that to happen today, but here we are. <laughs> anyway, so I'm about to curl my hair now. This is a curling iron that I use, it's by Hosan. I got it on Amazon and it's super long. This barrel is much longer than your normal, typical curling irons, which is why it's amazing if you have really long hair like me. So first to protect my hair, I'm gonna use a heat protectant. This one's by Tresemme. It's their heat tamer, and I'm just gonna spray this all over. And then brush it through. I changed my top so it's easier to see what I'm doing, but now I'm just gonna turn on the curling iron and set it to, I set it to 275 degrees. My hair is pretty thin. So I feel like I don't need a lot of heat to curl it. And then while it's heating up, I split it into two sections. And this is my lazy way of doing my hair. I'm such a lazy person when it comes to hair, makeup, anything beauty. I just want something quick, but we'll still get the job done. Okay, so it's only been like a few seconds and it's already hot enough. What I do is just start from the back. I grab a one inch section, I guess, a one inch like vertical section. Hold it so the clamp is facing toward me, clamp my hair, start from the middle, 
and then I start twirling and and then I kind of reclamp it and move it so that there's only a little bit of hair sticking out then I hold it for like not even five seconds and that's the curl and then I just throw it in back let it set I don't know if you guys were able to see that so I took away the towel but let me try again so I'm just gonna grab a section with my finger like so clamp facing toward me clamp it down in the middle twirl it move it down twirl it move it down twirl it move it down until I have a little bit of hair left at the end and then curl the rest and then I just hold it for like three seconds and let it go it doesn't look very pretty right now but I just throw it back and leave it and let it cool down and let it set and then at the end at the very very end once everything is all cooled down I brush everything out and that's where the magic happens so here's how I do it And this gives me like really nice, big, fluffy waves, which I've been really into lately. I've been having some like jealousy, I guess, toward people that have the Dyson Air Wrap, because I don't have one and I don't want to spend that much money. So I've been trying to figure out a way to get that similar sort of hairstyle without having to spend that much money. And I actually don't know if this achieves a similar style. But it's fine because I really like the result. And I curl all of my hair in the same direction. I don't like switching directions. You'll see what I mean. But I really like how everything kind of goes in the same direction. It just looks so elegant. And I go pretty close to my scalp just because I like the waves to start a little higher up on my head. And the other reason why I start in the middle and start curling is because I have a lot of layers. So like you can see here, oh yeah, this might happen sometimes where the hair kind of just like slips out of the clamp. So I'll just recurl it just at the end. And then for my bangs, I usually section it into two sections. And then I do pretty much the same thing, except I hold the iron a little bit differently. I hold it like above my head. Check to see if any pieces didn't get curled. Looks good. And then that's it for this side. I just let everything cool down while I do the other side and that takes me like five minutes to do so in total it'll take me like 10 minutes to do my entire head of hair thankfully i have thin hair so it doesn't take me very long so on this side i do the same thing where the clamp is facing forward so i just clamp the hair starting at the middle of the hair twirl it and then slowly move it down until I get closer to the end and then wrap it wait like three seconds and then let it down so all of my hair is curling away from my face I never curl toward my face I just don't like that look this long barrel also makes it a lot faster to curl since I can basically curl the entire length of my hair in one go I also just filmed a video where I like impulsively cut my hair and cut layers in my hair and it was actually really easy so if you want to see that I will link it in the corner or in the description box. Something else that I think helps is that this is a ceramic barrel instead of like those just plain silver like titanium barrels. I feel like ceramic really helps to make your curls last a lot longer because whenever I use like titanium 
My curls never last as long as they do with these like ceramic barrels. I used to have this other Con Air curling iron and whenever I used that one, my curls would not even last an hour. But then for this front front piece, I'm gonna hold it a little bit in front of my head and above so that it creates a whoosh effect. <laughs> it kind of did it. You see this like, this curve here? Let's do a quick check. I think this piece could use a little more. Okay, and that's it. Now what I usually do is go do my makeup, let the hair sit as is, like don't brush it out or anything. But then once I finish my makeup, usually then it's all cooled down and then I brush it out. So here's what it looks like right now. They're very tight curls. They don't look very good right now. But like I said, once we brush them out, that's when the magic happens. All right, I just finished doing my makeup. I just did my everyday natural go-to makeup. So now I'm gonna brush my hair out and you'll see what the curls look like now. So I start from the bottom and just brush it like normal. And now you'll see all the waves kind of come together like this. It just, it's so pretty. It's just like a really pretty sleek wave. And this is why it's important to let your curls set and not brush it out when they're still hot because you want the curls to set in place so that when you brush it out, you'll still have the curl. Ah, it's so pretty and it's just like so bouncy and voluminous. Let me show you what it looks like from the back. I love it. It's just like a soft wave but still has a lot of body and volume. I do have a bit of frizz though, so I'm going to use this John Frieda Frizz Ease touch-up cream. Just take a little bit on my fingers like this, put it all over my hands and then just run it through my hair. And that is it for my hair. I feel like it's less damaging because I don't use high heat and I don't keep the curling iron on my hair for very long. But I still find that my waves still last like three to four days. It definitely doesn't stay this curly, but by the end of like day three, I still have a little bit of waviness to it. And I don't even use hairspray. I don't own any hairsprays. I don't have one that I really like the scent of. But if you have a good hairspray suggestion, let me know. But like I said, even without hairspray, this lasts like three to four days for me. And I think it's because of the ceramic barrel. But yeah, hope that helped. I know one person asked me in my solo date video how my hair lasted throughout the day and I use this same method. So hopefully that helps to that one person that asked. <laughs> okay, I'm finally ready to head out. I feel like I wear the same thing, just in different colors. This is my formula for the perfect outfit every time. Some kind of crop top, a cardigan, or like a button down, trousers, white sneakers and a tote bag all in neutral colors <laughs> and i think this entire outfit is from princess polly my bag is from workshop 28 and my shoes are from target though but yeah that's the look it's a very cloudy day so i'm just gonna go to japantown grab some groceries maybe hit up trader joe's and target we'll see how much time i have and then come home now i gotta go and catch my bus <laughs> got home it's 304 right now let's do a little haul so I went to Daiso got some hair rollers I used to have some but I think I got rid of them but I wanted them again I got another headband for when I wash my face and do my skincare and I also got this little 
stretchy knit bottle holder but I'm not gonna be using it to hold bottles I'm actually gonna be using it to store my camera and what I've actually been using is this little Manjuri drawstring bag to like store it but I have some other camera equipment in here like my microphone some extra lenses so I think for that I'll keep it in here or maybe transfer it to something smaller but then for the actual camera itself I can store it in something like this it's really cushiony and soft so it'll give it a little bit of protection and then I stopped by Nijia I got more bread because I'm gonna make tamago sando again tonight egg salad sandwiches for when Kyle comes home I also got two packs of natto. Natto is my favorite whenever I want a quick and easy meal. And one of these is actually a three pack, so there are six packs that I bought. And then I stocked up on more foodie kake because we're running low. And lastly, I stopped by Target and got some apples. Granny Smith apples are the best apples. Now I think my friends and I are gonna chat because we have more planning to do for our Europe trip. You guys, we're leaving in one and a half weeks. That's insane. I am not ready. Let me just say, I am not ready. One of my friends already started packing. I'm not sure if the other one already started, but we still have a bunch of stuff, like little things, like transportation things that we need to figure out. I still need to exchange money and get some cash, like euros and pounds. I need to make sure I'm all caught up with work and like YouTube. I have videos planned out for when I'm gone. Just so many things that I still need to work on. So that's what I'm gonna do this afternoon. Also, how about this hair update? It was windy, it was hot, I was sweating, but the curls are still so pretty. These chips from Trader Joe's, so good. I just put a load of laundry in. Gonna eat a snack and watch some YouTube videos and just chill for a bit. Hi guys, look who's home now! On the day that I filmed the vlog, he didn't come home until like 4.30 in the morning. So I didn't record it because I was so tired. I literally woke up to greet him at the door and then I fell back asleep instantly. <laughs> but yeah, he's home now. And also, here's today's comment shout out. Shout out to Jill and 77 Thank you so much. I'm actually loving the clean girl makeup look as well. That's been like my go-to when I want to look a little bit more done up during the days, but not too much. But yeah, thank you so much for anyone else that wants to be shouted out in my videos. All you have to do is like, subscribe, and leave a comment below and I'll choose one of you to shout out in my next video that's all for today's vlog thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next one bye